Hello and welcome back to some more Blue Archive. Today we are finally gonna be leaving Abby Das. <laughs> my sweet Nanobi, man. I'm gonna miss my sweet Nanobi. And moving on to Millennium. Volume 2, Clockwork Flower Pavan. I got tissues at the ready for sobbing, of course. Uh, crying tears, tears from my eyes. Oh. Here we go. Chapter 1, Retromania. The game development department is in danger of getting shut down. Wait a minute. <laughs> Abydos is in danger of getting shut down. Wait a minute. Due to declining membership and performance, can the ragtag band of gamers come together to make the best video game ever? Let's go. Can you hear my voice? Are you there? You are the hero who will... Save the world. In the beginning, the celestials and demons. Cut, cut. This is way too cliche. It's so lame right off the bat. If I bought a game that started this lame, I'd be returning it before I even got an hour in. Let's go again. <clears throat> I've been waiting for you, hero. I am the goddess known as Memoria. <laughs> or world. Mill <laughs> Millenniopolis is now on the brink of an unprecedented crisis. You are the only one who can overcome this crisis and save the game development department. I mean, Millenniopolis. The adventure ahead will be difficult. You may face untold trials and hardships, but please don't lose courage. Your maidens will always be by your side. You are more than just a hero to the young ladies of this new world. They will call you by a title even more special. That great title is... Sensei! Are you awake? You got lucky. Don't say weird stuff like that. You're embarrassing, Sensei. I'm just happy is all. Are you okay, Sensei? I was afraid you'd never wake up. Thank goodness. I thought it was an accessory to a murder after that fly station she threw out the window hit you on the head. Let me apologize on her behalf. Hmm. Don't act so high and mighty, Meadery. When I said, I think it hit Sensei, the first thing you asked me was, is the fly station okay? Th that's simply because it's the game development department's most valuable asset. I blurted that out without thinking. Um, anyway. So, Sensei, you represent Shale, right? You do? You must have read her letter. I didn't think you'd really come. Uh, letter? Let's go! I was wondering if we were gonna get another Arona scene, man. I kind of missed her, I'm not gonna lie. I like that she was part of the first story, even if it was just the beginning. We've received a request from Millennium. I'll read it. The game development department is fighting for its survival. The student council has us cornered, and you're our only hope. Please, hero, save us. <laughs> this is the most urgent yet funniest request I've ever received. Are you familiar with the Millennium Science School, Sensei? S sensei. Sure am. It's one of the three biggest academies in Kavodos, alongside Trinity and Gehenna. They value rationality and technology more than any other school in Kavodos. It's a place where students that specialize in science and engineering can gather in the name of research. They don't have the long history of the two more traditional academies, but their influence over Kavodos is just as great. I wonder what would cause the students to request our help. Welcome to the game development department, Sensei. I'm Amoy, the department scenario writer. And I'm Meadery, illustrator and the one in charge of all the game's visuals. There's also our president, Yuzu, but she's not here at the moment. Together, we make up the Millennium Game Development Department. We can finally explore the ruins now that you're here, Sensei. Uh, I'm gonna need a summary of what's going on. Until recently, the Game Development Department has been creating a 16-bit game in peace. Then, one day, the Student Council launched its attack. Two days ago, Yuka, one of the Student Council's four divine beasts, <laughs> appeared and gave us an ultimatum. Allow me to explain it to you myself. I know that voice. It's you, one of the student council's four divine beasts, the cold and calculating treasurer Yuka. Could you please not refer to me like I'm some kind of monster? I'm simply trying to do my job. Sensei. Good to see you. Great to see you, Yuka. Great to see you, Yuka. <sighs> what a mess. Momoi. You're all as stubborn as ever, aren't you? Now you've resorted to involving Shale to stop us from shutting you down. Whether it's Shale, the General Student Council, or even if the General Student Council President herself suddenly returned, it still wouldn't make a difference. The Academy Student Council has full discretion over the operation of its clubs. The Game Development Department will be closed. No one can stop it. N not so fast! You said that if we don't have the minimum required members or meet our club's objectives, say you would lose your budget in your club room, yes. It's been explained countless times to you. With that in mind, on what grounds could you possibly object to our decision? I do have grounds. We're standing on tons of them. Our club is working its butt off at our activities. So, we deserve a summit hearing. I think you mean a mitigation hearing. And don't be ridiculous. You've tried opening a pachinko parlor inside the school, attacked the Ancient History Research Society looking for a rare classic game console. Your club's activities are anything but typical. How dare you ask for more funds? You're clearly creating havoc under the guise of fostering a healthy development environment. What do you have to say for yourselves? S Sometimes you've got to look on the intentions behind something instead of the results. That's what a failure would say. I don't want to hear it. 
not like we don't have any results. We did complete an objective. We finished a game. That's right, Tales Saga Chronicle won top prize at a competition. Yes, I'm aware of the award you won. I suppose Sensei is in the dark, however. Tales Saga Chronicle is the only game their club has successfully produced thus far, and its reviews were just as impressive as the game itself. I remember them quite well. If they wanted to create the most pathetic RPG of all time, then job well done. It's lacking in a lot of areas, especially common sense. Oh my god, this game makes Dead Crimson look like a masterpiece. You can't judge your game based on some trolls tearing us down. These are hardly outliers. It was the consensus. That's why you won the award for the worst game <laughs> of the year. <laughs> hey, all publicity is good publicity, right? Anyway, it is unacceptable for your school to be wasting funds while damaging Millennium's reputation. So the burden of proof lies with you to show that your club is conducting valid activities. As I said, if your club can produce meaningful results, we'll rescind our decision to shut you down. We have a secret weapon up our sleeves and we'll be making a submission to the Millennium Prize. Tales Saga Chronicle 2. What's the Millennium Prize? It's a contest where hundreds of Millennium Clubs submit the fruits of their labor. No one could shut us down if we won that. Not even you. That may be true. If and only if you were to win. Regardless, I'm excited to see what you have in store, even if it is destined to end in failure. So here it is, your final chance. You have two weeks until the Millennium Prize. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. It was good seeing you again, Sensei. I'm sorry it wasn't under better circumstances. I hope that things will be more pleasant the next time we meet. So long. That sneaky Yuka. She's just discriminating against us because she knows we're nerds that don't have friends. I hate her. Oh right, what's this secret weapon you mentioned to Yuka? It's Sensei, obviously. Me? Don't you remember those runes I mentioned, Sensei? There's a mysterious place near Millennium the General Student Council won't allow anyone to enter. Supposedly, the reason access is restricted is because it's dangerous. But they've never told anyone what the danger is. That's pretty suspicious if you ask me. Sensei, by any chance... Have you ever heard of the G-Bible? Hey, Mamoy, how much longer do we have to stay like this? Shh, don't make a sound. Keep your head down, Sensei. They're talking Stephen Hawking language. Phew, are they gone? This isn't good at all. What is this place? It's crawling with weird robots. What do you mean? I told you before we came here. These are the ruins. But I get what you mean. I knew this place was supposedly dangerous. Still, why are all these robots here? What reason would they have to be guarding ruins? I don't know much. <laughs> End of sentence. <laughs> I don't know much other than what I heard from Veritas. I already told you that access to this location was heavily restricted, right? Well, now that we're here, I'll explain it again. The one who restricted access to this place and tried to hide its very existence was none other than the General Student Council President. Since the General Student Council has given up on trying to hide or watch this place, Veritas was able to slip us in. According to what Himari told me, these ruins might hold all sorts of lost things from Kivotos' past. But what makes you think G-Bible is here? Wait a second, don't tell me that you jumped to the conclusion that G-Bible is here just because of what Himri said. What is this G-Bible thing you two are talking about? Back in Millennium's early days, well, all of Kivotos' early days, there was a legendary game developer. That person created the G-Bible while they were attending Millennium. The exact details aren't known, but I was told it contains secrets to making a perfect game. If we were to get our hands on G-Bible, Tales Saga Chronicle 2 would be perfect. All we have to do is follow the coordinates Veritas gave us. Access denied. What was that? Verify subject identity. Saiba Momoi unqualified. Verifying subject identity. Cube Shark Sensei. Don't tell me. Qualified. You have permission to enter, Sensei. Whoa. Bottom door open. Wait, by bottom, it doesn't mean. Momoi? Sensei? Are you okay, Momoi? Where's Sensei? Uh, I'm down here. <laughs> well, what are you doing down there? What do you mean? Be grateful Sensei broke her fall. Pink and green. Uh, oh, I guess I was so frazzled that I jumped to conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> Is something wrong, Momoi? Huh?
girl? What's she doing down here? Is she asleep? Nothing. It's almost like she's dead. Don't say that. I don't think this is a corpse. Take a closer look. She doesn't look injured. More like destroyed? Come to think of it, she does kind of look like a mannequin. Let's see. Hmm. Her skin is so soft. Oh, there's some letters here. A-L-I... S? What's that supposed to mean? Is it supposed to be your name? No, wait, that's not a letter. It's actually AL1S. Who is this girl? What's this place supposed to be? Maybe we should ask her. If she wakes up, that is. Let's give her some clothes first. I feel bad leaving her like this. Wow, you really did bring an extra change of clothes. Wait, that's my underwear! No, they're mine. The kitty face on the front is different. Okay, all done. What was that noise? It sounded like some kind of alarm. Are there any robots nearby? No, I think it came from her. She opened her eyes. Circumstances unknown. Attempt conversation. Please explain. You're not gonna attack us, are you? Negative. The offensive capabilities of this unit cannot be activated when in contact with an approved subject. Fascinating. Kivotos have several robot citizens, but I've never seen one that looks like us. What do we do now, Sensei? Uh, who are you? And what is this place? Answer not found. This is presumably the first occurrence of deep consciousness for this unit. Answers unknown. Hmm. Factory basement? No clothes? Memory loss? That's pretty suspicious if you ask me. I really don't like where you're going with this. What were you thinking? Why did you bring her to the club room? Uh, don't choke me. I can't breathe. <coughs> uh, I had no choice. I couldn't leave her there with all those scary robots. Ah, don't put that in your mouth. Spit it out. We couldn't leave her all alone. I know that. But shouldn't we submit a report about her to the general student council or Valkyrie? First, we should give her a name. How does Aris sound? Please confirm Aris is the designated name for this unit. W wait, you said her name was AL1S. Where did you get Aris from? Eh, the other thing would take too long to say, and it's not cute enough. Trust me, a dev knows best. What do you think, Aris? See? Do I know how to pick a cute name or what? Now, let's move on to the next step. You can't be serious. This isn't as simple as adopting <laughs> a cat. Think about it, Meadery. Why did we risk our lives to get G-Bible in the first place? It was to make a good game so we can keep our club. Exactly! To keep our club, we have to meet one of two conditions. Making a good game and winning the Millennium Prize is just one of our options. Hold on, Momoi, don't tell me. You're thinking of disguising her as a Millennium student and having her join our club? Aris, you're now one of us. That's my Game Girl Advance SP! It's the only 16-bit game console in Kavodos with an 8-core, 16-thread custom CPU capable of 8K resolution! Ugh, I hope this works. I think she passes the eye test. All she needs now is a weapon and student ID. I'll take care of getting her registered and having an ID made. Midori, I want you to teach Aris how to hold a conversation with Yuzu. I mean, sure, but... Good, I'm counting on you. Uh, so... Aris. Affirmative. Aris is the designated name of this unit. Hmm. I don't even know how I learned to make conversation. I suppose I just picked it up from watching TV or hearing other people talk. Query. Please verify object identity. Oh, that's, uh, it's a little embarrassing, but it has an article about a game we made. It got a lot of really bad reviews. But why don't you give it a try, Aris? Pressing button. Beginning tutorial. Press the B button to equip the weapon in front of you. Press B button. Resume. Experiencing emoticon that can <laughs> be conveyed through words. Oh, I know what you're feeling. It must be interest or anticipation. I'm gonna guess it's rage. Two hours later. Critical computational processing comprehension error has occurred. Ugh, we really messed up on this part. It's supposed to say that he prefers meat. We couldn't find the right words. When he says, sorry, I can't help you ladies with those veggies. I'm more of a sausage <laughs> myself. Aris's circuits almost got fried. Query, why is my mother a love interest and why is she my wife in a previous life? Um, so I have a kind of embarrassing question for you, Aris. How was her game? Did you have fun? Loading response. Fun confirmed. The more I played, the more I felt like I was being transported to a new world. It was like a dream. I need more. <laughs>
Sob! I can't contain the sobbing! What the? Aris, why are you crying? What do you mean, why? She's been touched by her game. Thank you, Aris. Your tears cancel out a thousand bad reviews. I wish Yuzu could be here to see this. I'm here. Eek! G ghost Yuzu, we couldn't find you anywhere. How long have you been hiding in the cabinet? Since you guys got back from the ruins. That was a long time ago. Oh, were you scared of Aris or something? You should have said something. Aris and I could have stepped out if you needed us to. Anyway, I think an introduction is in order. Aris, meet Yuzu. Um, so, I mean, the, the, thank you. Thank you for saying the game was fun and that you wish it wouldn't end. I've always wanted to hear those things said about our game. Whoa, stinky gamer girl. <laughs> Anyway, it's nice to meet you, Aris. Like Momoi said. <laughs> Yuzu has joined the party. What the fuck? It seems like you really understand her game. Getting new party members is one of the simple joys of playing an RPG. Oh, and if you want another fun game to play, I do have a recommendation. Wait, I've got some must plays first. The more you play, the more natural your speech is becoming. All we gotta do is get a lot of words in front of you. Aris is new to games though. The Legend of Zinda. <laughs> Long's Awakening is the obvious choice for a noob. <laughs> cleared. And cleared. Ugh. Morning already? Oh no, I have to get ready for school. You finally opened your eyes. Thank goodness. I wasn't sure you were ever going to wake up. Aris, you can speak normally now? Good morning. Here you go, Aris. Strange item obtained. Wow, you're getting so good at talking now. This is a student ID. You need a student ID to prove you go to our school. Veritas hacked, I mean, registered you in the academy list. So you're one of us now. Aris has joined the party. Next order of business is a weapon. All right, Aris, we've got some things to show you. By that, you mean like a grand tour of the Millennium School. Okay, I'm going to end it here. A little bit of a shorter one, especially compared to the uh, 26 minute movie <laughs> that the last one was. I, look, I got to be honest. It took me five days to edit that last video. I don't think I can make every video 26 minutes long. I'd like to apologize for any censoring I do. I dislike censoring just as much as the next sensei, but the YouTube overlords scare me and my channel's going kind of okay. So I'd rather not lose it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.